Hello everyone. Today we are performing central venous cannulation of the internal jugular vein. In a 13 year old child posted for exploratory laparotomy for bowel perforation after RTA. The technique is known as Seldinger's technique which involves aspiration of blood with a needle, passing a guide wire, dilation and passing a catheter over the guide wire. First of all the needle puncture should be performed vertically in relation to the probe to prevent any injury to the deeper structures. After the blood is aspirated, the needle angle is slightly reduced and carefully stabilize the hand over the patient's face. This maintains the needle position and prevents its displacement during guide wire insertion. I just wanted to throw some light on the complications which can be associated with this and the problems uh, which can occur while performing this procedure. First of all, taking a blind prick can lead to inadvertent puncture of the carotid artery, which lies very close and, uh, to the vein, causing a hematoma formation. So, ultrasound guidance should be used whenever available for better accuracy and for better visualization of the vein and the artery during the procedure. A primary prick with a pliolet needle can be used to ascertain the depth of the vein from skin as it is a relatively superficial structure but lies very close to the pleura. Going beyond the estimated depth can cause puncture of the pleura which can lead to pneumothorax and even hemoneumothorax. While performing needle puncture, one should be very careful to put minimal pressure on the vein with the ultrasound probe as well as the needle while also maintaining a slight negative aspiration as the vein can get, get easily collapsed with pressure and chances to go beyond are increased. If you think that you have gone beyond the knee, uh, vein or you are inside the vein but there is no aspiration of blood, you should remove sli uh, the pressure over the needle and the uh, probe and maintain slight negative aspiration and withdraw, withdraw the needle carefully millimeter by millimeter uh, until the blood is aspirated. Recently, we had to witness two deaths after performing the central venous cannulation as the patients had a complication which was massive hemoneumothorax after the procedure. After the procedure is performed, the guide wire should always be removed and the catheter should be fixed up to a certain depth. Since this was a 13 year old small child we had and we did not have access to pediatric uh, central vein, uh, central venous catheter, uh, we uh, used a butterfly and we had to keep the central line out, uh, uh, slightly outside to prevent the entry of line into the right atrium which may lead to arrhythmias. Post operatively it is important to get a chest x-ray done to ascertain uh, the pr uh, proper positioning of the uh, catheter and uh, it is also very important that post operatively the catheter should always uh, be the dressing of the catheter should always be changed at proper intervals we usually change it after every two or three days there should be no soiling over the catheter and strict asepsis should be maintained while uh, using the catheter